Hey guys, Choose Army Slayers here, and today I made up a little bit of the inside of the upper receiver. And you can see on the inside, it's like barely, barely any wiggle room. Which that's going to all be fixed out later when I add my rails on the bolt carrier. Just a couple sheets, like one or two sheets of paper on the sides as a rail to guide it. And then another thing is these two rounds. They're not loaded up, but this one has a primer already installed. Plastic primer. A wooden bullet. And then this one is metal primer with no... No... Um, it's like, it doesn't have an anvil or any of the components to fire it. If I can get this round off for a second. Uh, Alright, so what this is, is a 2 2 3 round. And the top of a mechanical pencil. With the grooves cut off down there so it can fit in the casing. I took the 2 2 3 round and I basically put it inside of there. You can see the very top of it right there. But, I cut off a certain amount. Like, because you can see the little notches. And I cut it off at the first notch. The very first notch. I just cut it straight off with some scissors. Dropped the bullet down in there. And glued it in place. Filled it in the back. The weight is dis is evenly distributed throughout the whole entire front and back of it. So, it should fly true. Yeah, there's no primer or any powder in it. It's just a primer cup. And, yeah. Since these are two different weights, very different weights, and um, they're going to have two different, I think I'm going to do two different powder loads, I don't know yet, two different charges, I don't know, all I know is those are the two rounds I have right now, and the next one I'm probably just going to use a little 2 to 3 with the same plastic, but or 22 caliber, but with the same plastic. Yeah, this is going to be the jig that I'm going to use to remotely fire it in with a string. So, yeah. That's all I got for y'all today. Um, the next video, I'm, I'm probably going to have this most of the way done or all the way done. The upper. And then, I'm also going to start the carrier, like, or the bolt and the key and everything. Well, the gas key, which on this is going to be a piston instead of a gas key, really. And, yeah. And I'm also probably, <sighs> sorry, probably going to have my um barrel extension on here. Retainer, I'm not going to need the retainer yet, so I'm not going to build that up. But I am going to level this up so that when I make my gas block, that can screw on there. I'm going to shoot it unsuppressed for my first couple of fires just to see how loud it is then and see if it cycles. And then I'm going to shoot it suppressed for the rest of them. But right now, my suppressor, I need to make baffles, which I don't know if I already showed mine. What's in the inside, but basically give me a second. I'm gonna take it apart real quick. It's kind of hard to get this thing out because of the taper on it. You gotta push it so they don't just drop out. Basically, there's this is gonna be my blast where the expansion guys i forget the name i know it's expansion chamber yeah expansion chamber i believe it's called where when the bullet first goes into the suppressor this is where the gas expands and then basically for the rest of my baffles i'm gonna take buy a whole bunch of syringes and cut off the tops and use this part because it's beveled but it's not really beveled a lot so it's like almost cone shaped but it's not and basically the more and more i add it'll take up They'll take up most of the space, but a lot of the fire will get trapped, if any, if there is a, even a lot. But yeah, that's going to go in there. And then the rubber part on the syringe pusher is going to be my 
um, wipe. So it'll be way more quieter when I had the wipes. Suppressor wipe. Because it's a piece of rubber and it stops all the fire and it seals when the bullet goes through it. So it should stop most, if not all, the most of the fire that goes through the suppressor. And then this, I'm going to level that up with paper in here soon. Or I'm just going to straight up baking soda, baking soda and super glue and get that done that way. But this, I still got to make this into a cherry bomb. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it's called for the muzzle break on the honey badger cherry bomb. But yeah. And then here, I'm only using one spring now. I took it and I... You can see the goldenish, blackish color because I put it in the oven on 450, 350 for like two hours, and then it wasn't, it wouldn't stay where I wanted it, so I put it on 450 for like not even five, ten minutes before the whole, before it got where I needed it and was set off the uh, smoke alarms. <laughs> but yeah, the spring works. It's strong. It's not too strong, but it's, I mean, it's as strong as what I need it for. And then I don't have my piece to go in there because I left it in, I think I left it at a friend's house because I just came from a friend's house. But yeah, right now, that spring is pretty strong. Pretty strong. So, that's going to be my spring. And hopefully it's strong. Hopefully the rounds overpower the spring and actually kick it back. And that's what I'm going to be testing. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. It's up to you. And goodbye.